first into the tank is a modern way to find and buy the latest styles. Hi Sharks, my name is Amy Roiland and I live in Los Angeles, California. I'm the CEO and founder of Fashion Tap. I'm currently seeking $100,000 for 10% of my company. Fashion Tap is a fashion social networking app that puts bloggers, brands, and other in influencers at your fingertips. Fashion Tap allows anyone to make money off the clothing that they're already wearing. Let me show you how it works. Fashion Tap users create content on the app, tag it, and then share it with their followers. You can tag anything from your eyeshadow to your shoes. This is Erica. Erica's a fashion blogger. Erica's followers already look to her for fashion inspiration and how to style the latest trends. With Fashion Tap, if her followers are drawn to a tagged item, like this gorgeous statement necklace, they could just tap that tag, and that tag will take them directly to the online store where that item is available for purchase. Now, Erica makes a commission on each sale, so she's incentivized to tag what she's wearing. And on Fashion Tap, her followers never have to ask, where did you get that again? Brands and retailers love us because bloggers and online influencers are the newest and best way to market your brands. Fashion Tap was born out of my love of fashion and my dream of connecting the whole fashion world. Let's make it happen. Okay, so this is already happening on multiple platforms. Instagram, Facebook. Why you? What do we need you for? Right. So um, I'm a fashion blogger. There is a huge void in fashion networking. Instagram is not comparable really to what I've created. You can't directly tag products on there. If someone posts sunglasses, they can tag the brand name, but they can't tag that exact thing that you can buy. And they're not incentivized and they don't get money. Aren't you concerned that Instagram could just add links to their tags? Not really, because Instagram is an everybody network. It's not a fashion network. And when you hashtag fashion, you see dogs, food. It's getting more and more cluttered um, in no that question. sense. You can also post your Instagram photos onto the app, and everything's written there for you. Just tag it. How do you make money doing this? OK, so we have three uh, revenue streams. The first one is e-commerce that I'm currently building into the app right now. And so um, off the big box retailers, we take 10% of every sale. But then those retailers have to put all that stuff in your inventory and make it taggable, right? In order for them to agree to your deal. Right, so when we're building that out, we would we would negotiate with them and what, do direct. Are those, are, those are hard deals to do, right? Have you tried to do any of those deals with a big box store? As a blogger, I work with free people, Jeffrey Campbell, like pretty big brands. I have a lot of followers, so I do have those direct connections. So once I build this database or the user base up, I think that it won't be too hard. You gotta have enough people for them to be interested. Exactly. How many so, downloads have you had? What's your monthly active users? So um, we have 6,000 downloads to date. We just launched. Over what period of time? Six months. Six months, So okay. we just launched the soft launch six months ago. And um, our monthly active users is 1,500. And it's been really organic marketing through just my channels and me being a blogger. So I haven't done any paid advertising or anything. The second revenue stream would be um, uh, sponsorships. So we would facilitate sponsorships with big brands, right? So they would send me the denim jackets plus money, and then I would pay out the top users, bloggers and models, or influencers on the app to wear those jackets in several different ways and style them. And then we'd put them on the popular page so you could see all these girls, you know, different sizes of girls wearing these outfits in different ways. How much money would that girl get who's modeling that for you? Okay. So that would example. be the third one, which is affiliate links built in. So um, if somebody clicks and buys any of this stuff that these girls are tagging, they're going to get anywhere between 3 and 35% of that sale, depending on what the retailer has done with the affiliate. What's your revenue with that model okay, now? Okay, so since the six months, uh, we have 60000 Your first six months of business, you have $60,000 of sales. And How much have you netted from that? So what we would get would be the 1% to 15% of that 60000 What have you gotten? Six, six six we haven't taken anything because I'm giving it all back to the users. The so bloggers, you're giving so them they... the full affiliate fee right now? Yes. Amy, how are you eating? Why aren't you starved to death now? I'm really excited about this. I think I know, this but is... what you can't eat excitement. How are you living? Um, I'm living off my savings, and I have a chairman. He's fronted ninety thousand dollars to create the app. How much of the company is he owned? Thirty-eight percent, and I have thirty-three. Well, that's like ninety thousand to get this far is, is actually really good. Who owns the rest of the company? Yes. So my COO has five percent, and my uh, CTO has uh, twenty-three percent, and then one percent to the, the developer. Well, what do you need the money for? I want to use the hundred thousand dollars for strictly marketing. Yeah. That's it. Um, I won't be paying myself. I just want to use it for marketing to really get my user base um, higher. What are you going to do if it doesn't work? Because getting 
going from six months in and then all of a sudden only spending $100,000 and hoping you're gonna start becoming viral, right? So if that $100,000 doesn't work, what happens then? Then I'll just keep going and going and, and marketing this and I think that it's an amazing idea. But and like, you know how hard it is to all of a sudden catch fire after six months in. But we pay our users to use the app. Like, that's really incentivizing. And you I need to tell me something better, because 100K isn't a lot. If we scale to 100,000 monthly active users on the app, we will have $7 million for the year of gross sales. And that's just going sales. straight line, right? Yes. And so, straight and then, That's straight affiliate, you're saying? If we add in the e-commerce as well. And your goal is to get to a bigger affiliate fee, because you're going to have direct deals exactly. with all of these providers. I didn't hear anything in your business plan about the army of business development folks you're gonna need to go do those deals. Those are hard deals to do. They're already cut pretty thin in their businesses, and they're certainly not gonna wanna cut a big fat piece of margin for you considering your relative size. It's gonna take a lot of time. But how, how are you, you building that into your business? I just think the biggest issue right now is finding these brands. There is no fashion social network out there. Well, I, I, would, I, I would wholly disagree. And I'm sorry, I was an Instagram investor. I've watched yep. that network grow up from the beginning. Right. It is the fashion social network right now. And so I have friends like Sophia Bush, right. famous TV star. She gets paid right. directly by the brands okay. to model their stuff, to integrate it, to mention it in the mentions, okay. right? She's making so much money doing it that she's not gonna bring that traffic over here to your app. But are her fans happy with going to her page and seeing her in a dress and going, well, who makes that dress? And then they can't directly tag it and buy it because it's annoying. Look, I disagree with Chris. I think a Sophia Bush, Michelle Fan, whoever it is, is going to go where the people are. But you haven't answered the most important question. How are you going to compel them to use you? Just going and getting PR, just going and spending marketing dollars right. is not going to do it. But because you haven't answered that question, I'm out. OK. Um, For me, so I think you have some challenges. I don't think the highest end, most influential people are going to come here because they can do better just doing stuff direct. I mean, you're going after the holy grail. Since the days I worked at Google, everyone has said, wouldn't it be amazing to touch a button on your TV remote and be able to buy the sweater that Jennifer Aniston is wearing in Friends? Right. Everyone's been chasing this. I've seen a lot of swings and misses on it. You're getting closer, but I think you also underestimate how much work it's going to take to do the deals. Right. And for that reason, I'm out. OK, thank you. Amy, I see Godzilla. I see you, and I see you very flat and a stain on the carpet. <laughs> okay. I wish you the best, but I see bad things are going to happen to you. Wow. I'm out. Okay. Well, Amy, you know, I, you come out here, you're the real deal. Thank you. Right? You, you're hip. I love fashion. Thank you. I would love to, to work with you, but I just believe that the Instagrams of the world, they're going to create some form that you can um, buy directly just like this. And I just think it's a little too complicated, and for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. And then there was one. Come on, Barb. You're ready. I should probably be listening to the technology gurus here, but I'm going to ignore them. Oh, are you making an offer? Four sharks are out. Barbara is Amy's last chance for a deal for her social media fashion app, Fashion Tap. OK, Barbara. You know, I'm thinking of another entrepreneur that I invested in named Grace and Lace. Uh -huh. The woman who owned the business made lacy boot cuffs for the top of her boots. It seemed like a long shot. But ironically, after all the investments I've done in the seven years on Shark Tank, they have been the most profitable. And there's something about you that reminds me so much of Grace and Lace. And so... Wait, Barbara, I hear Godzilla. Yeah. I hear yeah. Godzilla. Yeah. Mind your own business, if you don't mind, Mr. Boldy. I'm gonna make you an offer, but I need more for the hundred thousand dollars. I need twenty-five percent. Okay. So Barbara has made you a very generous, blood-sucking offer. I have total confidence in you. Take it, my goodness! What a chance! You have escaped a giant foot that will crush you and make you a small yellow I don't flat even pancake. Pay attention to this <laughs> That's guy. coming. I'm gonna have to politely decline. I just can't. Uh -oh. Do you have a counter offer? I really wanted to just go with the 100,000 for 10%. Wow. Because I know. Oh, oh. 
non-negotiable, no, because I also have no a team. flexibility, Shark Tank platform, tens of millions of users, <laughs> you're walking out without a deal? You're not going to give her a counter at all? Amy, it's unusual okay. that an entrepreneur comes in and sets their price and is totally right. non-negotiable. It's kind of the equivalent of slamming a door in someone's face. You can always well, make counter. I mean, counter. if you think of other apps, pre, pre um, you know, Rebuke. users, yeah. pre-making, their valuations are $1.5 million to yeah, $5 million. Yeah, a lot of app creators are working in Payless shoes right now because it didn't work out. So. Amy, you understand the difference. You haven't proven the monetization business plan yet. I'm out. Okay, wow. thank you. Goodbye, yellow pancake. Thank you. <laughs> well, good luck. I thought she countered. You just dodged a bullet. I came to Shark Tank knowing exactly what I wanted, and, you know, they didn't give me that, but I am very, very excited about my app and the future, and I'm not going to stop.